enjoy it. Okay, Phil, thanks for joining us. No problem. Yeah. Um, so the goal here is just to, to overcome, to come up with some common uh, responses to uh, overcome objections that we hear when talking about MMT and the job guarantee. Uh, and the first big one is people, it's, it's pretty easy to get people to accept that the government creates money. You know, mm -hmm. like Donald Trump said it, and now everyone agrees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but well, yeah. but what, what the problem we have now is that everyone says, oh, but it's inflationary to print money. You know, we've got this printing money thing. So when, when people say that to you, what do you say about inflation? What do you say to replace that term printing money? Because it's not very accurate. It's not accurate. I mean, they don't print money. In fact, most, most money exists electronically. So they're just crediting bank accounts when... Uh, when the government spends, um, but uh, the thing about uh, this notion of, of of printing money is that, in fact, basically, uh, we're talking about a central government here, a currency issuing central government. We're not talking about state governments or local governments because they're just like you and I; they're a user of a currency. We're talking about a currency issuing central government that is that the monopoly owner and issuer of the currency. And in fact, even though. Uh, <clears throat> the way in which the federal government and, and some of the arrangements are organised, uh, it appears as though taxes are funding government spending. In reality, every dollar of federal government spending, so we're talking about Australia, is essentially a new dollar created out of nothing and spent into existence. So it's not as if uh, some uh, spending is financed by so-called printing money electronically, but we can put it in inverted commas, uh, printing money, and some by taxes. All of it is basically printing money. Okay. Every every dollar of uh, federal government spending is financed at the point of expenditure. Okay. Taxes don't fund the, the spending. The taxes just destroy enough private sector spending power to leave enough real resources available so the government can get their hands on it without having to compete with the private sector. So when it's the federal government spends, it's not hyperinflationary. Okay, so at the moment we have this system where um, if the government wants to spend more than it has taxed, it has to issue bonds in the amount that it wants to spend. No, it doesn't have to do that. The, a the AOFM uh, issue, well, it's got like a standing order. So whenever the government deficit spends, there's bonds issued to the same amount to balance it out. Well, no, it's not to be the only, the only, basically the only, it doesn't have to do it. And the only real reason why it does it is to allow the Reserve Bank to set and uh, defend its target cash rate. You know right. that cash rate they set when they meet every month? Yeah. Uh, and. Yeah, so they have to do that because, believe it or not, if, they're, if uh, the federal government's running a deficit, it would be placing downward pressure on that uh, cash rate. Right, okay. And so, yeah, but it, it is set up at the moment so that that happens. It makes it look as if... It looks... Like, it, I know that the government doesn't have to do it, but it does make it look as if that's what's happening, right? Can I just briefly explain why they, they have to do it, in a sense? Yeah. They, they don't have to do it, but they do it because if... if if uh, when the government spends, the federal government spends, it creates money and injects it into the economy through its own spending. Mm -hmm. When it taxes the private sector, it's destroying private sector uh, spending power. Okay, so when the federal government's spending more than it's taxing, there's a net injection of spending power into the economy. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and that comes to people like you and I, and uh, you know, whether we spend it or what have you, it basically ends up deposited in uh, bank accounts and. Uh, the, um, the, 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 that, that particular money uh, manifests itself as excess reserves in uh, what are referred to as exchange settlement accounts. Mm -hmm. all, all the major banks have got these exchange settlement accounts where they conduct transactions amongst themselves and with, and with the Reserve Bank. So when the government is running uh, a deficit, there's a surplus funds in these uh, particular exchange settlement accounts. And the Reserve Bank pays an interest on those reserves if they're left overnight in those accounts, which is always 0.25% less than its target cash rate. Okay. And that, that might not sound like much, but you know we're talking about a lot of money and we're talking about profit-seeking banks. Uh, okay, so just imagine we, at present, the, the uh, target cash rate is 1.5%. Then that means that uh, these uh, money left in these uh, reserve account, exchange settlement accounts, are basically uh, earning 0.25% um, less than that, which is 1.25%. Mm -hmm. So 
a bank could leave it in those accounts overnight, because we're talking about the short-term money market, for 1.25%, or it could lend it out at a higher rate. Well, it's not going to lend it out at 1.6%, because no one's going to borrow at 1.6% when the target cash rate is 1.5%. But one, a bank might, for example, lend it out at 1.49%. Okay, and that's lending to other banks. It's not lending to the private yep. sector, right? No, that's right, Lynn. And But another bank will want to uh, perhaps in order to uh, get but rid of I just the want to make the point that you're not talking about lending it out to uh, no, mortgages. No, no, and, uh, no, no, it's not that. This, this, is some, this, is, this is something, this is trying to lend it out. Into bank lending. Yeah, into, into bank lending. And of course, another bank will uh, try to uh, outcompete that particular bank and they'll, they'll uh, lend it out in, in interbank loan at say 1.48%. Hmm. And, and of course, you can see what's happening. The cash rate is being driven down and it will continue to go down unless the Reserve Bank intervenes until it reaches 1.25%. Right. So of course, the Reserve Bank can't allow it to do that because it has a target of 1.5%. Hmm. So how does it keep the, uh, ta the, the cash rate at the target rate? Well, it, uh, what it does is it has to drain those reserves and it does that by selling bonds. Mm. So the bonds do not fund the budget for shortfall. They enable the Reserve Bank to set and defend a target cash rate right. uh, when the government's running a deficit because otherwise it, the, uh, the cash rate would fall to the default rate that's paid on, uh, on the reserves. On the reserves. So I, 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 uh, I watched, I've watched uh, Randall Ray talk about this and he says basically that the only reason that the... Um, that Treasury issues bonds in the same amount that the deficit spends is to give the, the central bank the leverage it needs to soak up the reserves. Otherwise, it, it. if it kept happening, it wouldn't be able to hit its, its target rate. Yeah. Um, now, of course, I'm sorry, and sorry, and of course that looks as though, right. uh, given it's the same amount, as as if they're, they're they're selling these bonds in order to finance the budget shortfall. Right. And, it and it's called borrowing. I mean, that's that's the big problem. Yeah, it's not borrowing at all. <laughs> uh, all all it's the, these funds. These X would, would be earning 1.25 percent. Okay. Right. Uh, they, uh, if uh, the um, uh, the Reserve Bank drains those re reserves by uh, selling bonds, then uh, all they end up doing is just shifting tho those reserves into uh, what you might call bond accounts. But really, th th there shouldn't be a term government bonds. Mm. It, it can have private sector bonds. Go, uh, reserve bank bonds are nothing more than reserve bank term deposits. Right. Okay. That's all. I, I like so that terminology. It's all it is. It's just a t and and that money does not go to the federal government in order for it to spend. It just gets shifted from one account, reserve account, into basically a term deposit account. That's all it is.